Well, hello and welcome back to NDI Central Live. We're here in the South Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center for NAB 2018. We're here in the New Tech booth, so if you plan on coming to NAB, make sure you stop by uh, the exhibit uh, number 5016. Stop by, say hello, and uh, check out all the latest, greatest products that New Tech has to offer and find out about the new developments in NDI technology. Well, we've been talking uh, to several different developers, uh, graphics developers, network storage, about NDI. Now it's time to speak to someone that's actually using this stuff. Uh, with me now is Imri Halevi of Har uh, Harvard University Athletics, right? You're the director of uh, multimedia and production there. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. First, uh, Imri, why don't you just tell us about the operation there at Harvard? Absolutely. So Harvard has 42 Division I sports teams. We have the largest athletic department in the country. Um, and what my department is charged with, amongst other things, is producing and broadcasting all home games for these teams. And so streaming them online, putting them on TV as much as we can so that people who can't come to the games can watch them. Fantastic. Now, you've been, um, you've been using new tech products for quite some time now, right? Yeah. Since 2008, I had the, um, what is it, TriCaster Broadcast, the SDI, mm -hmm. the little box. Um, I was hooked from the first product we had. It was just, it was an amazing product, and I figured, well, we'll, we'll see where this company goes, and it's been a, it's been a crazy ride. Now, you, did you use, uh, what kind of cameras did you use with that? Did you have to run BNC everywhere? Or did you have yep, so um, we used JVC cameras for that, um, the 700 cameras back then. And yeah, we had to run BNC cables from the cameras to the TriCaster. And uh, you know, sometimes that was easy, sometimes that was difficult because the cameras weren't exactly where the TriCaster was. So we had DAs and we had um, SDI repeaters and uh, Lots to get the SDI to work. Yeah, you had some pretty long runs, I would imagine, too. Yeah, we did hockey, we did basketball. They're just the big, big buildings where the TriCaster's in one location and the cameras really need to provide coverage. So their um, cable runs were definitely a big issue. Oh. So now you're using NDI. Now we're using NDI. How has NDI impacted all of that? NDI has, has been amazing. It's really allowed us to grow and expand what we do um, without really spending any money on it. Um, currently at Harvard, we have two central control rooms. One is at our hockey rink um, and one is at our basketball facility. And because of NDI, we can do any of our sports from any of those control rooms. We can do swimming and diving out of the basketball control room or football out of the hockey control room. Um, each of these facilities has a central video board um, in the facility, and so we can share feeds. If fans are at a basketball game, we can show them what's going on at the hockey game. And it's, it's things that we've dreamed of and always have thought, well, we have to run fiber, we have to connect the buildings, and it, it's always been out of our reach. And now we don't even think about it. So oh, there's a video feed somewhere on our system, and it, we, we just use it. It's, it's been incredible. So that's, uh, we've, we've experienced that ourselves at New Tech, but a lot of our customers as well. It took a while to kind of get your head wrapped around NDI if you're right. used to the conventional ways of running a one-way signal in one direction on one cable. How, uh, how did uh, that come to you? I mean, when you started to dis discover what you could do with NDI, how did that start to change things? Well, it changed meetings I've had, because I, I have a lot of meetings with our facilities groups um, as we build new buildings or renovate buildings, and it took me a very long time to convince them that multimedia needs to be part of the equation. We need to run fiber. We need to have BNC and SDI camera drops. We, ne we need to think about all these things in budgetary terms, and suddenly I don't have to have these conversations. We renovated our basketball facility this past year, and they sat down, they said, okay, which fiber runs do you need? So you know what, I don't, I don't need fiber runs. Just give me ethernet ports everywhere, or Wi-Fi even, and uh, it's just, it's something that has, has changed the way that I educate other people about video, because now we can invest money elsewhere. We can get better cameras, we can get better switchers, we can get, we can spend more money on talent, but, Trans transmission I is, is no longer a factor. It, it doesn't cost money. Interesting. So, yeah. y so uh, big hurdles are getting other people to understand it. Right. For one thing. Yeah. People. I mean, people understand how video works. Mm -hmm. Point A to point B. One direction. And right. It's one directional, and people understood coax, and we had to teach them fiber, and and they got fiber. But now I say, well, you know, th we don't need any of that. Just put it on the network. Th th <laughs> the network exists. We're very lucky in Harvard that we have a very, very strong gig network all over the place, on the same subnet. And so it, it's not even, we don't even have to think about it. Mm -hmm. And we have to tell people, listen, it's, it's just going to work. It's, 
you don't have to worry about it. Uh, it's, it's a different mentality for people who've done this a long time. So what are some of the things that you're able to do now with NDI that you weren't able to do before? Um, so we have, as I mentioned, two central control rooms, and those support our big sports. Mm -hmm. Football, hockey, basketball, those are our big sports, and those would get the funding. Even if NDI didn't exist, we'd find fiber and we'd make it work. But we have 38 other sports that we need to support, and so things that are smaller, like water polo or soccer or baseball, where typically we'd say, well, we can't do them centrally. We'll take a TriCaster Mini to the field and we'll do something small. That's not a factor anymore. We say, sure, we'll take the TriCaster Mini to the field, connect everything to the TriCaster Mini so it converts it to NDI, and we do everything out of our control room. We don't need to bring a replay system out there. We don't need to bring audio out there. We don't need to bring graphic systems out there. Everything can be centralized. So the quality level of those productions has exactly gone up. Exactly, and we've heard about it from fans, from alumni, from coaches, saying we didn't realize that you could do these smaller sports from your central control rooms without spending any money. And suddenly all these other sports are getting attention, they're getting alumni, they're getting to be on TV because we can do TV-level broadcasts that we couldn't do from the field before. You know, one thing that I, I've heard a lot, in the past anyway, is People get concerned about streaming everything. They're afraid that ticket sales are going to go down. <laughs> How has that, had that been impacted by streaming these games? I, I can say I was one of those people who heard those complaints. Um, it's, it's something that people really believe. And it's funny because people don't go to games just to watch the sport. They go to experience the atmosphere, exactly. to be part of it. Streaming is different. Streaming is not that. Um, we actually see streaming as benefiting attendance because we make an effort to show people what's going on in the building. Say, look, fans are having fun. There are promotions on the ice or on the court. You should come here. This is fun. Um, we have not seen any drop in revenue and ticket sale revenue because of streaming. It, it hasn't it took a while to convince people, but it hasn't been a yeah, factor. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a big myth, <laughs> and um, I, don't, I don't quite understand. If, if anything, it promotes. Absolutely. Rather than, and, and, and well, uh, you know, one of the things we saw early on with the NA, uh, NBA Development League, um, they said, <laughs> they used to call it uh, the NBA, NBA's best kept secret <laughs> until they started streaming using TriCaster, right. and now people actually are aware of these things, so much like many of the sports, I would imagine. Absolutely, the smaller sports like water polo is one of those sports that has had significant increase in recent years, and it's people suddenly know, hey, look at this game, it could be fun, it's exciting, it, it's something that people don't realize, because when people think sports, they think football, basketball, baseball, those are easy, but these other sports um, have really seen an impact. So what, do you, what would you tell someone that is thinking about adopting NDI and their facility? What, what would you tell them? What, what, what would the, what would, alleviate their concerns? I don't see, I, I've had people ask me this, and it's difficult for me to come up with reasons not to use NDI. Mm -hmm. there, it's just, it's already there. It comes with the new tech product. There, there's really nothing more to think about. It does take some network planning. You know, mm -hmm. if you're not in a, in a facility or a, ben a venue or a campus where the network can support it or the, the network f infrastructure can support it, th there is some thought and planning that needs to go into it. You're going to have to boost up older networks. You're going to have Absolutely. to boost that up and a little bit. And, you know, NDI does not automatically communicate across subnets. Mm -hmm. It's possible, but you have to think about Although it. Although some changes have been made. Right, with that the access manager, we've, we've, yeah. we've used that. Yeah. Um, but once you set it up, then the possibilities are, are limitless. You, you don't have to plan for specific venues. You just, you can think broader, and you can think, okay, wherever there's internet, I can produce from, I can transmit from, I can stream from. I so in an ideal world, what would you do? And now that this world is closer to ideal, um, and so yeah, we've had some people contact me and then say, okay, should, should we do NDI? I Absolutely. I mean, why? Why would you consider running fiber this day and age, where you can just do everything in DI? When you know people are concerned about latency, that that's a big question I hear. But, but I I, don't I haven't seen any latency. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not a big concern. I mean, no, it doesn't I mean stop you from doing anything. No, especially not. Let's say there's. You know, I'm not a technical expert. Maybe there is a frame latency, two frames. That's not for something. What that for what you're doing, it's right. not an issue. You know, we're doing college sports broadcasting. It's going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. Very good. So do you have, uh, like, new projects that you are working on that uh, involve NDI? I mean, is it enabling you to kind of go beyond the, the conventional thinking or the limitations? Um, so a new project that we just finished was, I mentioned, our basketball facility renovation that got us a new control room mm -hmm. um, and a new video board for basketball. So that involved NDI heavily because it allowed us to 
pull in feeds from other areas on campus um, and incorporate them into the basketball control room. The basketball control room has a Nutec TC1 mm -hmm. as the main production switcher where we produce for TV, and then a TriCaster 860 for the video board show, because we have a video board show as well. Okay. Um, we recently got a Nutec Connect Spark, which I just wanted to try because it's nice and it's small, and it's been incredible. We did a couple of weeks ago, we did a softball broadcast. We do it with a TriCaster Mini. We put cameras around the field. It's pretty easy. And we really wanted to incorporate a little POV camera in the dugout, which is something that you see on TV. But the coach was really apprehensive. She said she doesn't really want cables going everywhere. She doesn't want her, her athletes to be distracted. And we said, no problem. We need power. POV camera goes to the spark, little antennas. That's it. Um, we've never tried it before. We've never used a spark wirelessly. And it just worked. It didn't even, we had a little Linksys router, provided Wi-Fi to the field. And it, it, she saw it later. She said, I didn't realize it would be so easy. I didn't realize that you could get such a feed without being so intrusive. Um, so those are the things I want to try, to put little cameras using the spark in, in places where we didn't really think are possible. Um, we did it for swimming and diving this year. We did a underwater camera and a camera under the, di the um, starting block where they jump from. Okay. And so we used little Marshall cameras. We put a spark there. That's it. That's, you know, there's no more to it. Yeah, you and can't be running cable all over around the pool. Exactly. That's, that's really a problem, wow. and it's, it's no longer a problem. Battery pack, camera. I, ta I was talking to your Nuta guys before, and I saw a, a Anton Bauer gold mount wrapper for the Spark. I'd never seen that before. That's next on my list now, because I, I had to power the Spark, but now I don't even have to. Yeah, you can run it all day long in a, on a battery, right? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Imri, thank you for um, taking the time to come uh, on NDI Central Live here at uh, at the New Tech booth. And uh, if people want to check out the uh, some of your streaming activity, where would they go? Where would and they see so your games? Our streaming and all streaming for Ami Ivy League schools go to ivyleaguenetwork.com. That's the Kay. central website where we stream to. And um, we also produce for ESPN3 and from Nessen, which is the New England Sports Network. So we, we try to produce for as broad an audience as possible. Fantastic. Yeah. Emery, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Well, shortly we'll be coming back with uh, yet another exciting interview, so don't go anywhere. Stick around. We'll be right back.